celebrate the International Day for the Wars in the Indigenous Peoples. We, at this point in time, recognize the important role that women have played in the struggle for the recognition of the rights of indigenous peoples. Our women, particularly in the Goni land, where I come from, have been in the forefront in the struggle for the realization of Goni people's rights. It was the women, even when the Goni people were driven underground, it was the women of Ogoni that sustained the Ogoni struggle despite the military repression that we went through. Today, we are celebrating the International Indigenous Peoples Day, recognizing that important role that our women play, particularly in the preservation and transmission of traditional knowledge. It is a fact, and it is correct to say that without our women, there will be no traditional knowledge transmitted. Because the first angle of transmission knowledge, traditional knowledge transmission, is the issue of language. Without our women, I don't think language can be preserved and transmitted over the years. But in this circumstance, we see that our women have been responsible for the trans preservation of transmission of language. They have been responsible for preservation, I mean, pre preservation of our land and resources. They have been responsible for preservation of our different species that have formed the biodiversity of life. And that is why today we feel strongly that the role that our women have played in the preservation and transmission of, the, of traditional knowledge should be appreciated and should be commended and should be sustained and should be strengthened because without our women, traditional knowledge is lost and with loss of traditional knowledge, there will be loss of biodiversity. In fact, dealing with the current contemporary climate change will be difficult because we need that knowledge system. We need that support system from our knowledge, traditional knowledge, to be able to adapt to issues of climate change. And that can only be done when we have our women who have been dealing with our environment. Because our, our environment is synonymous with our women. Our women spend more time on the land than us men. Our women spend more time in the river. They interact with these blessings of nature more than men do. So when things go wrong within the environment, when things are not right, when things are not done in the way that should be done, the women feel the first. They are the first in the forefront. They are the first to feel what has gone wrong. They are the first to feel when things are going right. So they have been in the forefront of protecting the environment. They have been in the forefront of making sure over the millennia that our climate is not, I mean, is not impacted the way it is being done now. They have been the ones that have been in the forefront of protecting biodiversity. They have been the ones that have been in the forefront in preserving our language. So from language preservation to biodiversity preservation to climate adaptation, our men have played a key role using the traditional knowledge system that they've inherited and passed on from generation to generation. And that is why on this very occasion, we need to give our women all the support. We need to appreciate them. We need to encourage them to continue in what they've been doing over the years to sustain our biodiversity and to sustain life on earth.